Okay. Hey guys, so I asked you guys on Twitter because they have their little fancy pool thing. What story time video you guys would like to see more? There was my awkward Tinder date or <laughs> catfish on Xbox. 63% of you wanted to see my catfish on Xbox video. So that's what I'm going to give you right now. The time I was catfished for over a year, almost a year actually, for almost a year by my <laughs> my Xbox boyfriend. This story is really embarrassing. So this was a few years ago. I was 14 when I met him. We're gonna call him Gunther. Gunther, yes, Gunther. Alright, so I was 14, about to be 15 when I met this guy. I lied and said I was 15 because I was like, oh my god, I'm so young and I want to be older. We all go through that idiot stage. But And I had just recently got my own 360, like my own Xbox, and I was so happy because I had been playing on my brother's Xbox for the past year, and I hated it because like they would go to sleep and then they would yell at me because I would be like in their room in the middle of the night just playing Xbox and like... It was ridiculous. So I finally got my own Xbox like a few months before all this and I was so happy. I thought it was the coolest thing ever because I was like learning how to trash talk and I was so cool and I would make people feel bad about themselves and I thought I was the coolest motherfucker in the world. I wasn't. So I met these people. I wasn't even home at the time. I had brought my Xbox down to this house we were staying in. Who cares? Blah 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 details. I met this group of people and they were like those... Those guys on Xbox who just, you could tell, they thought they were something so fucking cool. They thought they were something so great and like this just this gift to the whole Xbox community. I felt so cool over this and it's so fucking stupid now. But anyway, we met and there was this guy in there, Gunther. Um, the other ones were just kind of like whatever. I didn't really care about them. So I was now part of this amazing little party group people that, you know, you always play with those certain people when you get online. Like, they're your homies, they're your party, you know what I mean? If you have Xbox, you know what I mean. Like, they're the people you are always in a party with, whatever. And we would play Modern Warfare 3 because that was my favorite game ever. It's still my favorite game ever. We would play that game um, all the time. It got to the point where, like, Gunther and I... <laughs> Oh my god. Gunther and I would like get offline and then go like join each other's party and just kind of talk. Like just the two of us would just talk, you know, play the game, whatever. It was cool. It was fun. Like he would read me things from his journal that were all gloomy. Oh my god. Like my life sucks. Blah, blah, blah stuff. Which at the time was like, oh, he's such a sad little puppy. I just want to make him better. So one of the times that I was in the party with him and he other people that we played with. He sent us all a picture from email, like this was, yeah, email, like we didn't have kick and shit like that. He sent us a picture of himself and this like, okay, random Angie, why does that matter? Well, it will make sense, it will all add up later in the story, so. Right off the bat, when I looked at the picture, I, I remember this exactly, like I told him, I was like, dude, you don't even look anything like your voice. I told him that. He was like, yeah. I get that a lot. That happens a lot. People say that a lot. But that's me. So after a while of this, you know, of us just kind of going to our own little thing, our own little party and talking. But he sent me a message one of the nights that we were getting offline. Offline, guys. Offline. He sent me a message asking me, like, hey, oh my god, like, this is weird, blah blah blah, but do you want to be my girl? Like, he literally asked do you want to be my girl? I was like, okay, I'm stupid, I'm 15 years old, I'm retarded. Like, I've never dealt with guys before, I guess, before this. So I was like so excited, I thought it was the sweetest thing ever, like the sweetest message. I was like panicking over it because my parents rule, and for like all of our, all of my siblings, all of us, like everything, is that there's no dating until you were 18 years old. A lot of us didn't listen to that, but the point is like you're not allowed to be in a relationship until you were 18, finished with school, like all this other stuff, like you're not allowed to do that. So I got this message and I really, really wanted to be his girl. So I showed my mom the message and I asked her, I was like, so can I? And she's like, you're not 18. And I was like, I know. And she's like, no. Okay, like, I'm a good ass child and I will obey my mom. So I was like, okay, fine. So for like a week or two after that, we had this whole dramatic like, oh, I love you. I want to be with you, but we can't kind of, you know, like, it should be a fucking stupid ass movie kind of bullshit drama going on. We would send each other these long ass texts of like, oh, I just want to be with you so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. So after 
about a week or two of that, I made my very first rebellious move against my parents. And I was like, well, I'm gonna be with you anyway. You know, we're gonna be together, even though my parents said no. So that was like my very first time doing something on my own, like my own decision, like that I wasn't supposed to do because I'm a good kid and I listen to my parents and I respect my parents and like we were officially a thing. We were together. A few months go by, you know, we were still so super strong and in love. Oh my God, we're in love on the Xbox, guys. And at this point, you know, all my family knows about it. Everybody knows that we're technically a thing or whatever they all are you know chiming in like hey um what if he's just some creepy old guy who's trying to get you know like younger people on the internet like this happens all the time and my family would constantly tell me this and i would get so defensive and i would defend him all the time i was like no he's not like that like this is real blah blah fucking blah so i mean that continued on for again more, like a few more months i was sending him like selfies daily or just like pictures of what i was doing throughout the day pictures of my family like i was I need him everything because he was my boyfriend. I wanted to share my life with him, but I had only ever seen that one picture of him. So I started asking him, I'm like, hey, you know, will you send me pictures? Like, hey, like, will you send me a picture? Just randomly, like, hey, I want a picture. Like, send me a picture. Oh my god, send me a fucking picture. So I confronted him about this so many fucking times, so many times. We would get into like a fight or like I would just be pissed at him because it's like, dude, like you haven't sent me any pictures since we've been together. And every time he would be like, oh, okay, I'll send one tonight when I'm done with this or that or when I'm finished with this and that. I have so much to do today, but I will try tonight, tonight, or oh, I sent it, but you, it, 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 you didn't get it? Like, what happened? I sent it, but apparently you're not getting it. Oh, I'm too tired to send it again. All this other stupid bullshit fucking excuses. Like, there was always an excuse, no matter what. There was always a fucking excuse as to why I didn't get the picture of him, right? Okay. And I didn't want to be that annoying person who, you know, like, pries, who is, like, constantly like, hey, like, fucking send me a picture. Like, give me the picture. You said you were gonna send it. I haven't gotten it, so send it again. Like, fucking put the damn effort into it. I didn't want to be annoying. So I would choose to just fucking let it go. I would just ignore it, you know, like, okay, whatever, it's not a big deal. Maybe it really isn't just going through, because at the time, like, I didn't have a phone, like, I had a phone, but I didn't have, like, service or whatever, so we were texting through, like, those text-free app bullshit, because we didn't have Kick or Snapchat, like, any of that, I didn't have any of that at the time, so, like, we were texting through that, so I actually believed it, like, hey, maybe it's not working, maybe it's because of my bullshit app, whatever. So, a while later, he tells me after, again, me asking, hey, like, will you send me a fucking picture? He told me that <laughs> he was insecure because he had gained a few pounds since the last time, since that picture that he showed me. And he was so embarrassed by his body at the point that he just wanted to wait until he got back in shape to send me a picture. <sighs> like, okay. I fucking just, I believed him. I chose to believe him and I let it go. Valentine's Day comes around. Oh my god, it's time for love and sweetness, right? Yeah, okay. So I send him a guitar. It was like a thousand dollar guitar, okay? I sent it to him. It wasn't even my guitar, it was my sister's guitar. <sighs> Fuck myself. Oh my god, I hate myself so much. I sent him this guitar because he loved music and he was gonna be this big famous fucking rock star someday. We even came up with this bullshit band name that was gonna be ours. Like, oh my god, I'm fucking retarded. But I sent him this guitar along with like a lot of other things and you know, he sends me this fucking, this necklace. Okay, it's as cheesy as heart and blah, blah, blah. But it was the sweetest thing ever. Oh my god, it was the first gift I got from a guy. Alright, so let's skip to about a month. I remember this so perfectly. It is my dad's birthday, alright? And I ask him again. I've been asking him for, I don't know, almost a fucking year now to send me a picture of himself. And at this point, I am so bitchy over this whole topic. I am so mad that excuses keep happening, like these things just keep magically appearing that happen like 
stop me from getting this picture. Like, it's almost been a year and you can't send me a fucking picture of yourself. Like, something's going on here. So he sends me a picture of himself. And when I get this picture, it is a completely different person from the from the first picture that he sent me. It is completely different. Like, they are a thousand percent different, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to keep my calm, you know? I'm trying to be a nice person. I'm like, oh, you know, nice. That doesn't really look like you in the other picture you sent me. And then immediately he starts sending all of these fucking spam messages like, I am so sorry, oh my god, I was just so insecure because of this and that and blah blah blah. Family issues, my life sucks, my life is so hard. All of this other crap, like, I understand if you don't ever want to talk to me again. All this other bull crap, and I'm just like, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? So many emotions hit me all at once. Like, I was so mad, but I was also so fucking disappointed and so, like, just let down. So pissed off at myself, mostly, because I knew there was something wrong, but I just fucking chose to ignore it. I chose to believe in the good. And the biggest emotion or the biggest feeling that I remember I had, like, I had at that point was, he is a fucking liar. He is a lying piece of shit. He lied to me for this fucking long. Like, he's gonna continue lying. He's a liar. Liar, 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 lie. That is a lie. Lie, lie, lie. Like, that is all. Like, these texts popped up in my brain that just said liar, 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 liar liar and I was so mad I was so mad I remember I went to my room I had like this complete just fucking breakdown like I was so mad not even like oh my god like oh my god I was pissed I wasn't upset I was like fucking pissed he's a fucking liar like I didn't care that he wasn't as attractive as the person like I didn't care about any of that it was the fact that he fucking lied to me and he had multiple freaking opportunities to tell me the truth and he continued to lie. He chose to lie to me over and over and over again. The person I believed I was in love with and believed that I was gonna spend forever with, we were gonna have this perfect little relationship, oh my god, is a lying piece of shit. Like, how do you, how do you handle that? I don't know. I completely did not know who they were anymore. I didn't know this person anymore. Then he tells me the picture that he originally sent me was not of himself, obvious fucking late. It was his brother-in-law, his sister's husband. He sent me a picture of his sister's husband, his brother-in-law. I had this fucking person as my background on my phone for almost a year. Okay, I thought that is who I was in love with. I thought that, oh my god, that's my husband. Oh my god, I'm gonna marry him someday. Oh, fuck me into that. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. What is wrong with you? It's disgusting. But that's not the end of the story. Oh, no, 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 no. He basically guilted me into staying with him because he was promising all this shit. Like, I will never lie to you again. I swear. I, I promise. I learned my lesson. Oh my god, I love you. I don't want this to end because it was the a reader. I believed it. I fell for it. I was like, okay, fine. For the next few months, probably only about a month actually, the next month after that. I completely faked our relationship. I acted like I still loved him. Oh, it was no big deal. It was just a bump in the road right now. No. Like we would Skype and I just, I was so disgusted. All I seen was a liar. It wasn't even about his actual appearance. It was just that when I seen him, all I seen was a lying piece of shit. When I would text him, all I would read is, oh my God, I'm lying. Just kidding. Oh my God, lie, LOL. When I was on the phone with him, it was like, mm, can I really believe anything he's saying because he's a lying piece of shit. That's all I thought for this entire month. It got to the point where we were just fighting. I was pissed at him all the time. Like, I didn't fucking have any time for him. I didn't want to talk to him. I didn't even want to deal with him. Whatever. Playing with him was like such an annoyment, an annoyance at that point. So finally, I had my breaking point and we were playing Modern Warfare 3, face off 3v3. We had this random guy on our team. Well, I guess you could tell that I was annoyed by him. So he sent me a message. In case you guys didn't know, Xbox used to be the fucking, the tender of the world. Like, there was just a lot of drama and romance going on in Xbox at that time, I guess. And he's asking me, like, hey, what's wrong? You know, like, you don't seem very happy, all this. And I just, like, fucking poured my heart out to this guy. I was like, dude, I am not happy with him. I fucking can't stand him. Like, he's a liar. He lied to me. I can't forgive that. I can't get over it. Like, I can't, like, I can't do this anymore. He convinced me, basically, at the end of the night, he convinced me to 
do what was gonna make me happy. So I did. I left the game and I invited him to a private party. I was like, dude, you lied to me. I'm not gonna get over it. You're lying. I can't believe anything you say anymore. I don't want to be with you. I don't want anything to do with you or your lies anymore. There was so much drama afterwards, like so much drama because then I tried to be his friend. And there was just so much fucking drama that isn't even worth mentioning. It actually ended up with him telling me that I was just the girl who played with guys' hearts. Oh well. But it was just such a fucking, oh my god, kind of situation where I knew something was wrong but I didn't listen to myself and that's where I, I messed up. Been smarter and realized like, hey, this fucking idiot won't send me a picture. Like, oh, there is something wrong with that and I was so stupid. Stupid. And it's literally embarrassing to me now because I am nothing like the person I was then. Like, I would not fall for something as fucking stupid as that nowadays. I guess it's because I learned from that, from that situation, which is a good thing. And I just want to point out that in, in this video, I come off very bitter and very, like, bitchy towards the whole situation. But I have made peace with the situation. Like, I've made peace with the story. Like, yeah, okay, it fucking happened, whatever. I'm over it. I'm so fucking over it. I know that I seem really bitchy towards this person, but I really do hope that this person is happy happy and isn't as fucking insecure and gonna lie to people. I hope he gets his shit together so he stops lying. That is the whole story. That is the time I got catfished on Xbox by my boy- my Xbox boyfriend. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this fucking embarrassing ass story. <laughs> All my links will be in the description. Don't forget, elegance is cute. Don't be a peasant.